Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Hoops here, back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about Delano Banton and how he went from a bad pick, or a Toronto bias pick, or a nobody, to a hidden gem. Delano Banton is a 6'9 point guard who was drafted with the 46th overall pick in the 2021 NBA Draft, and has, pre and has been pretty impressive being one of the best rookies this season, and a little bit under the radar, and today we'll explain his story and how he's a hidden gem. Also, if you want me to make more of these videos, make sure you like and subscribe. But anyways, let's get straight into the video. So let's start off with the pre-draft stuff. And basically, we didn't hear anything about him at all. And the only thing we saw was a video of Banton with the Indiana Pacers asking him his thoughts about the pre-draft workout. And as you can see, it's playing right now. But besides that, we basically got nothing about him. And most mock drafts had him going undrafted. Personally, I had no idea who he was until he got drafted, and he probably had one of the least amount of media attention out of everyone who did get drafted. Coming into the draft, I thought we were going to draft Jalen Suggs, Jericho Sims, and Dacian Nix. And I mean, this was completely wrong, starting with drafting Scotty Barnes over Jalen Suggs. And in the second round, a lot of people expected us to draft Sharif Cooper with one of our second round picks because, I mean, he was projected to be a top 20 pick and fell all the way to 46. But instead, we drafted Delano Banton, and I was pretty shock shocked, especially when I didn't know who he was. And that says something because I knew practically everyone who had declared for this draft. Most people thought this pick was strictly because of Toronto bias, because if he wasn't a well-known player, and there were other players who were better coming into the draft that were available, that makes you think that this was a biased pick, but obviously now, that opinion has changed. In the Summer League, we didn't see him do much except for some glimpses of offense and pretty good defense. Obviously, at the time, people still thought that this was a bad pick, but they were still after the draft stuff. But things have gotten pretty crazy in the new regular season. Delano Banton is now almost a rotation lock and playing 12 minutes a game and playing every game so far in the season. He even took Malachi Flynn's spot in the rotation as well as Goran Dragic, who were both players who we expected to get minutes this season. In Banton's 15 games, he averaged 5 points, 2 rebounds, and 1 assist while shooting 52% from the field. And 36% from the three, which is pretty surprising, especially when he shot 18% from three in college. Now let's move on to why he's a hidden gem. Obviously in 20 minutes, he's averaging a triple single. And his one game in the G League, he put up 30 points, 7 rebounds, and 9 assists, leading to the Raptors 905 a victory. Now for his potential, it's through the roof, being a 6'9 point guard who could defend, finish at the rim consistently and is a great playmaker and also has shooting potential apparently. So that obviously sounds like a very very valuable player. Keep in mind he is also 22 so he has a lot of time to grow. If you look at his comparisons he doesn't really have a spot odd one because we've never really seen a player like Banton in the NBA before or at least was a good player in the NBA before. What do you guys think of Nolano Banton? Comment your thoughts down below and while you're at it make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.